Cass holds down speed nice. Wow. See how far we can ride a wheelie. <laughs> Let's see how far we can ride it down there. Oh, it's going. Oh, it can go. Coming at us. Team, I hope the week went well for you. It's Mo. I'm back with the Arma Creighton BLX 4S V2 and the Arma Outcast BLX 4S V2. And today it's pretty straightforward. I want to run a speed test between both these all new vehicles from Arma and I want to see which one's faster. Before we do that, let's just pop the top and have a look inside and see what we're running. So if you've been following the channel, you know I did an unboxing video of both vehicles. I did some side-by-side -side comparisons of both vehicles. And just a quick high-level summary, both vehicles running the exact same electronics, the Spectrum Firma 120 amp ESC and the Spectrum Firma 2400 kV motor. Both are running the same stock pinion. Today, we are running a 6,000 milliamp 100C burst battery in both the exact same brands. Couple things to note is the wheelbase on the Outcast is about an inch shorter than the Creighton, okay? And um, they're also running different tires. You know, the uh, Outcast on the right runs the backflip LPs and the Creighton on the left runs the um, D-Boot Copperhead 2s, okay? So if you've watched my previous videos, you'll, you know that uh, what the speed ratings have been for both of them. So today, I've never done it both in the same video. Let's see which one is faster. Let's get into it. All right, up first, Arma Creighton, stock gearing. Let's see how fast you are today. That was all the way down. Let's bring that back one more time. Let's go. All right, let's bring that back and see what it was. Whoa, that was 54 miles an hour. 54. The box stock rating is 55. My previous speed tests were 51. Wow. All right, let's send it back down. Oh, okay. Okay, I like that. 54 is now that number to beat. Let's get that box stock rating of 55. Let's bring that back one more time. 54 is now that number to beat. My new personal best. Let's go. Okay, let's bring that back and see what that was. Still at 54. One mile per hour away from that box stock rating of 55. Let's get it. Let's get that 55. Let's get that box stock rating. All right. 54 is number to beat. Let's get it. That's all the way down as far as it can go. I'm holding it. All right. Bring that back with another pass. Let's go. 54 is number to beat. It's coming at us. All right. Let's bring that back. See if we got there. Let's see if we got to 55. Still at 54. Let's send it back again. We still got lipo power. 6,000 milliamp. 100C burst. Let's go. Let's get to 55. I held that down long. Bring it back for another pass. 55 is the number we want. 54 is the number to beat. Let's bring that back and see what that was. Still at 54. Let's give it another run. So the batteries I'm running, HRB, 6,000 milliamp 100C burst, got them off Amazon. Two of them for $71.99. Let's go. 54 is number to beat. 
I'm holding it down. That's all the way down. That's all the way down. That is all the way down. Almost hit that curb. Let's bring it back again. 54 is the number to beat. That's all the way down. That's all the way down. This Creighton just gets to full speed so nice and easy. All right, three times the charm. Let's bring it back one more time before we check it. That. The Creighton holds down speed so nice and easy. It really does. It really, really does. All right, let's see what we got. Still at 54 miles per hour, which is three miles per hour faster than all my previous speed tests. And uh, in the debrief, we'll kind of talk about why. Let's do the outcast next. Let's go. All right, my outcast time. We got 54 with the Creighton. In my previous speed test with the outcast, I got 52. It actually beat the Creighton by one mile per hour. The thing about the outcast, no rating on the side of the box that the Creighton has, but let's go. That thing's flying. Let's bring it back again. Let's bring it back again. Let's go. 54 is the number to beat to beat the Creighton. Outcast holds down speed nice. Wow, that thing's flying into the uh, other part of the warehouse here. All right, let's bring that back and see what it was. 54 miles per hour, two miles per hour faster than the previous speed test I've done at 52. Let's see if 55 is here. So, so far they are tied neck and neck. 54 is that number to beat. Let's go, let's get 55. They wanted to wheelie. Okay, that was all the way down. Literally wanted to wheelie go into full trigger, which is satisfactory. Let's go, 54 is number to beat. Let's bring it back at us. Woo -hoo -hoo, that thing's flying. Okay, let's bring that back and see what it was. Still at 54 miles per hour. I hope you guys can see that. Let's keep going for 55. Let's line it up. All right, just like the Creighton, 54 is that number to beat. Let's go. That's all the way down. That's as far as it goes. It's held down far. Okay. Let's bring it back for good measure. 54 is the number we need to beat. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's bring that back and see what it was. Still at 54 miles per hour. All right. Let's keep going. All right. Let's get to 55. Come on. We got 54 already. This thing holds down speed very well, just like the Creighton does. They both just hold down speed well. Even with the one inch shorter wheelbase, it doesn't want to wheelie if you're nice to it. Let's go. 55 is a number we want to get to. That thing is hauling ass. Let's bring it back and see what it was. Still at 54, team. Let's keep going. All right, let's get to 55. Are you there? Oh my God, I almost killed it on that curb down there. Let's bring it back for good measure. Come on, get me to 55. All right, it's all the way down. It's down, it's down, it's way down. It's all the way down. All right, let's see if we got to 55. Still at 54, team. Looks like we got a heads up tie between the two before we have the debrief. Looks like we had a heads up tie between the two at 54. Let's just drive them around and wear the battery out. So you guys can get a feel for them. Both wheelie easy. Woo -hoo -hoo. Feels so satisfactory. That thing, Creighton, feels so nice held down. Feels so agile. That operates nicely. The S652 servo, I've said it before in my videos, leaves a lot to be desired. 
but it works. <laughs> These HRB batteries are feeling nice too. Wow. <laughs> Feels so good. See if we can ride a wheelie out. Let's see how far we can ride a wheelie. <laughs> All right, let's check the outcast now. Let's take it for a little spin. All right, the outcast. Definitely wants to wheelie a little easier on initial throttle pull, but look at it. Turns a little tighter. I feel like it turns a little tighter than the Creighton, just a little bit. We're gonna ride the wheelie out. Oh, it wants to go. Oh, oh! <laughs> this definitely. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> With the inch shorter wheelbase on the Outcast, you could definitely feel the difference when you let that trigger in strong. Because it will want to flip over that front end kicks. Let's ride another wheelie. I mean, this thing wheelies when it's like near full throttle. Bah. I'm having a hard time deciding which one I'd like to drive better. Both have just the same fun factor, right? Both hold down speed well, but <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, this Outcast rides wheelies with a little more stability. Look at it, look at it. Oh! <laughs> that was painful. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. All right, let's do that again. Let's see how far we can ride it down there. Oh, it's going. Oh, it can go. I mean, that's going. I mean, that's to the end of the parking lot. I mean, okay, I, the Creighton can't do that. Let's do it again. See if we can bring it all the way back to us. Hold on. Let's bring it all the way back with the wheelie. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it go. Oh, oh, that wasn't, that wasn't stable. Man, this thing just rode a far wheelie. <laughs> Man, both these 4S rigs cannot go wrong. Fun factor just absolutely equal man let's see how far we could ride that wheelie again oh it wants to go look at it go though go 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 <laughs> that's really far <laughs> that's far I got that oh no don't yes I'm getting the hang of it now it's coming towards me again it's gonna want to beat me up <laughs> this thing, this thing does ride wheelies. No, this thing rides wheelies a lot easier. Look at that. Yes, for sure it does. All right, let me get back to the Creighton though. All right, back to the Creighton for the wheelie ride. Yeah, it's it's most deaf different. There we go. That extra inch makes a difference on the wheelie ride. All right, Creighton again. There we go. <laughs> it is, you gotta hold the gas down different. There. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it now. All right, Creighton, let's go. You gotta keep the gas down a little harder. It's less finesse and more like gas power. All right, let's go for a long wheelie. See if I can make it to the fence like the Outcast did. <laughs> All right, one last wheelie chance for the Creighton. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not as easy to hold down on a wheelie like the Outcast is, not at all. All right, 
before we bring this speed test, this versus match to an end, I got both controllers in my hand. Let's just send them at us. <laughs> oh my God, one more time. Coming at us. <laughs> so hard to control. All right, team, let's bring it in. As always, team, I appreciate you joining me on this heads up speed test between the Arma Creighton V2 BLX 4S and the Arma Outcast BLX V2 4S. And just to kind of recap, in my previous videos of the Creighton and the Outcast, the Creighton did 51 miles per hour and the Outcast beat it and did 52 miles per hour. Today, they both did 50 four miles an hour and I'm gonna basically say it comes down to the batteries I was using I was using HRB 5,000 milliamp batteries with the 50 C burst in my prior speed tests and with those batteries the outcast beat the Creighton by one mile per hour Today, to remind you, I was using HRB's, same brand, 6,000 milliamp batteries with 100C burst. We did 54 miles an hour. And to remind you, the Creighton on the front of the box has a 55 mile per hour rating, okay? The Outcast actually doesn't have any speed rating on the front of the box. So to come one mile an hour short for the Creighton versus four miles an hour short of 55 miles per hour, my previous speed test, I am very, very satisfied. And for those of you in market for either of these vehicle or both, today it showed that they are identical speeds at 54 miles per hour. And maybe if, you know, I use some different batteries, some racing lipos, maybe I can hit that 55 with box stock gearing. So today, what's the conclusion? Each vehicle did 54 miles per hour. They were running the exact same battery, both with box stock gearing, okay? So that's a pretty satisfactory conclusion. And I think that answers a lot of questions about which vehicle is faster. And uh, in my previous videos, the Outcast was, but today they were absolutely tied and both of them beat their previous speed tests of 52 for the Outcast and 51 for the Creighton. So now that we got the heads up speed test out of the way, both at 54 miles per hour, please stay tuned. I'm going to have a bash video at the construction site. As always, team, appreciate the time. Every time, hit like and subscribe for more content like this.